In the quiet, unassuming town of Maplewood, nestled amidst the rolling hills and sprawling farmland of upstate New York, resided Paul Matthews, a man who epitomized the term hapless family man. He was the kind of fellow who could trip over his own feet while standing still, whose socks perpetually had mismatched patterns, and whose hair seemed to exist in a perpetual state of disarray. Paul's life was a monotonous routine of work, home, and family, with the occasional foray into the mundane world of local community events and PTA meetings. He was a creature of habit, content in his predictable existence oblivious to the extraordinary twist of fate that was about to catapult him into the limelight, not of the bright lights of Hollywood, but of the surreal realm of dreams. One unremarkable Tuesday morning, Paul woke up to a barrage of missed calls, unread messages, and an overflowing inbox, all filled with bewildering inquiries about his presence in people's dreams. Initially, he dismissed it as a bizarre prank. But as the day progressed, the volume and intensity of these messages only grew, leaving him utterly baffled. As the days turned into weeks, the phenomenon intensified. Millions of strangers around the globe were reporting seeing Paul in their dreams, not just fleeting glimpses, but vivid, interactive encounters that left them with a profound sense of connection. Paul's face became ubiquitous plastered across news channels, social media, and even the cover of Time magazine. He was the unlikely star of a global sensation, the dream man who had infiltrated the subconscious minds of the world. At first, Paul reveled in his newfound fame. He enjoyed the attention, the invitations to talk shows and celebrity events, the feeling of being recognized and adored by millions. But as the novelty wore off, a darker side to his stardom emerged. The dreams began to take a sinister turn, transforming from pleasant encounters into nightmarish scenarios where Paul was the harbinger of fear and chaos. The dream man became the dream demon, a figure of dread that haunted the collective consciousness. People awoke from their dreams drenched in sweat, their hearts pounding their minds filled with images of Paul as a malevolent force. The once beloved dream man was now the target of fear and loathing. Paul was horrified, trapped in a nightmare of his own making. He longed for his old life, the anonymity, the predictability, the lack of expectations. But there was no escape, no way to reverse the tide of dreams that had swept him away. Determined to regain control of his life, Paul embarked on a journey of self-discovery, seeking to understand the root of his nighttime appearances and the power he held over the subconscious minds of others. He consulted with psychologists, dream analysts, and even spiritual gurus, hoping to find a way to silence the dreams and reclaim his lost peace. Along the way, he encountered others who shared his strange affliction, individuals who also found themselves involuntarily appearing in people's dreams. Together, they formed an unlikely support group, sharing their experiences, their fears, and their hopes of finding a cure for their shared predicament. Through their shared experiences, Paul began to understand that his dreams were not just random occurrences but reflections of his own inner turmoil, his unresolved conflicts and his deepest fears. The dream demon was not an external force but a manifestation of his own shadow self. Armed with this newfound self-awareness, Paul embarked on a journey of introspection, exploring the darkest corners of his psyche and confronting the demons that lurked within. It was a painful and arduous process, but with each step forward, he regained a sense of control over his dreams gradually transforming the dream demon back into the dream man. As Paul healed, the dreams transformed as well. The nightmares subsided, replaced by dreams of hope, inspiration, and reconciliation. People awoke from their dreams feeling refreshed, empowered, and connected to a sense of shared humanity. 
Paul's journey from the hapless family man to the dream man and back again was a story of transformation, self-discovery, and the power of the human spirit to confront its darkest fears and emerge into the light. His story became a beacon of hope for those who struggled with their own inner demons, a reminder that even in the midst of darkness, there is always a path to healing and redemption.